Hey guys, as you can see, um, I've been tearing the saw apart here with the help of uh, Brian Two Bears. He's a steel tech, so he knows uh, he knows all the ins and outs on all these uh, steel saws, even the clones. Well, I have pretty much any saw. Now, this video is going to be about the newest um, saw to hit the U.S. market, actually North American market. Um, from Neotech. This is the, I got notes here, <laughs> uh, this is the uh, NS872i and I'm assuming I means improved model or improvements or something like that. There were some complaints on uh, this model, the 872, which is uh, the clone of um, the steel 038-380. So Neotech listened and they upgraded everything that that you know within reason to still keep the price uh, the price point you know uh, good and um, uh, that's what we're going to go over today. If that sounds interesting to you hang tight. Okay, bear with me on this camera angle, guys. I'm trying to make sure that you can see um, somewhat uh, well, like with a bird's eye view. Mr. Brian Two Bears and I uh, did a little live uh, conferencing the other day on video, and uh, we were talking as I was tearing the saw down. He was kind of guiding the way in case I got into any snags, and uh, I did get into a couple snags. He was there to help me. <laughs> So, you know, he, he knows a lot about that. Um, he's certified on many levels. So, good good guy to have in your back pocket. If you need some help, you run into a, some problems. So, anyway, that being said, this saw was completely, I completely tore this down. And just to show you guys the improvements. So, um, this is, again, the uh, Neotech 872i. And I'm, again, I'm assuming that means improved version or something like that. But uh, um, I have taken the liberty of uh, looking over some of these parts and talking with Brian. And he's verified some things. So I'll tell you what the differences are here in case you're uh, in the market to uh, buy one of these, which I highly recommend for the price. So we completely tore this down. This is the... Uh, Again, the clone of the uh, 038 380 model, and uh, the improvements that they've said that has been made is number one, I can show you here, is their version of the Elasta Start, and this is surprisingly 
good. Um, I mean, obviously it's it's you know modeled exactly like the original last to start. You know, um, so there's that. That that was one complaint that people had here in uh, North America that uh, try to get those on there, and they they listened. They they got that. Um, and that's pretty awesome. I don't know if you've used one of these, but uh, that's a great help when you're starting and uh, the health of the uh, starter as well. So there's that. You know, this is all mag magnesium. You know, the case, everything. You got the plastics for the top, but you know, in case you, you've never seen one of these, uh, here's the bottom of the uh, starter assembly there, just so you, you can see that if you're interested. Next is a small feature, if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Is a spark plug. They provide the uh, NGKR spark plugs on these now. Model number BPMR7A. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. You know, instead of those uh, cheap torch spark plugs, I believe is what they had before. They've updated the uh, ignition coil as well. Um, this this here is a, is a made in Italy. This is ignition coil. They've upgraded that. It's not very cheap. It's, you know, a lot more robust and they used to have these little pull things right here that always ripped off too. I mean all this is this whole assembly is um, upgraded so that's the Italian version right there so and uh, also the piston I don't get all this stuff off here so you can see it but the piston and rings have been uh, upgraded um, I'm not sure about these. I, I was assured that these are these these have been upgraded. These pistons, so and they look pretty good. I I think, um, you know, not a bad looking piston there. Um, so anyway, if you can see that, okay. And next is the cylinder. It's also been upgraded. This is um, uh, called Rhino Mac. No idea. I'm just the uh, mailman on this stuff, guys. <laughs> but as you can see, you know, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can get down in there good. You know, got some casting in there. You know, but... Uh, these are supposed to be a better quality uh, cylinder. Uh, so anyway, if you can see that, I'm trying to kind of, because I can't see what you see, but I'm just kind of showing it. And you know, make a seeing a lot of that out and uh, have it look really nice. I'm not going to take that boot off, but. You can see down there it's got the little tonsil or whatever you call it in the intake. Next and my favorite is they've upgraded from the Chinese carb to the Walburl carb on this one. Uh, 21, 245. I don't know. There's another, there's a small term name. I don't for the model. Um, and I don't have that in front of me. Um, so I imagine that's what would come stock on a uh, 038, 380 flavor of Saul. So there's that. 72cc Saul. Um, so th their description is um, the high-end version with the NGK spark plug, high-performance Marlboro carburetor, Italian ignition coil. Um, so, and then also um, upgraded crankshaft. Oh, okay. Apparently there's an upgraded crankshaft as well, guys. I didn't know that. I just wanted to get the word out on these. They're, you know, they've been upgraded. And uh, 
you still you know they upgraded all these tool kits as well you know you get all these new tools i went over that in my last video video if you haven't seen that the uh the um clone uh of the uh Husqvarna 365 you know they get all these uh new tools and then in this kit you have obviously get the scrunch and then you get uh now what's really nice here is you get the steel like um torx you know see it's the the steel like with the the better handle the really long uh extended uh, tool and then also you get the eight mil um for the carburetor a little socket socket in there so that would have been cool if it was detachable and put different sockets on there <laughs> air everything you need to to work on the saw to tear it completely down is in that kit plus you get things like you know these ring compressors and you know and you get the uh they come with all these little gauges, depth gauges, and uh, you know, chain pitch gauge. You know all this, all these things. You know, throw it in there too. And here's the filling spikes that come with it. Just to whatever. also comes with a. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, comes with the longer screwdriver. That was something people were wanting. Oh yeah, I forgot the other thing. They got the original steel. Uh, um, o38 type um, air filter with you know that has the choke in, in it right here if I can get that with my finger or not yeah see that's there a little choke in there I think the o28s had that too kind of like that but anyway so there's that too that's kind of cool that, I mean that's I'm sure that's not cheap this tool kit that comes with with it uh, with the, with all the saw every saws but this one in particular um, has every tool that you need to maintain this saw. It has everything you need except one thing, a Phillips head screwdriver. It's for this little Phillips head screw right there. And I'm assuming you could just use this screwdriver for it, so. These saws are running around $300. Um, you know, there's different prices on eBay and Amazon and everything. So I'm not going to, you know, say exactly what the price is. I'll just put the link down in the description and I'll pin it to the comments uh, for this, this new saw, both the Amazon link and the eBay link. And if they fluctuate, that's, that's not up to me. <laughs> I'm just trying to help people out here if they want a, a good little saw for cheap. And um, so... I'll be, be assembling this back up. With that said, I appreciate everyone watching, and uh, y'all be safe out there, and we'll see you next time.